Gotabaya Rajapaksa, the embattled president of Sri Lanka, has resigned. I'm at the presidential secretariat in Colombo. This place saw huge protests over the past three months. What you see behind me are two armoured vehicles with soldiers sitting on top of them. We are right now in the Golface area, very close to the old parliament and the presidential secretariat. What used to be a quiet yet determined protest site today erupted into celebrations as Prime Minister Modi announced the repeal of the three contentious farm laws. I am right now in the city of Urupi where the hijab row which has now acquired national spotlight first began. The city and other surrounding districts saw heavy protests in the past few weeks both anti and pro hijab. Ranil Vikramasinghe, a seasoned politician, has been appointed as the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. He has held the post five times previously but never completed the full term. Most of the people living here have refugee cards given to them by the UNHCR, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Chancellor Angela Merkel and Prime Minister Modi have met each other at least 12 times in the past seven years. Interactions that have helped deepen political and trade ties between the two countries. The region of Vidarbha, economically dependent on agriculture, is highly sensitive to climate change. India will face a tough job of navigating the biggest economies in the midst of a global downturn and at a time of escalating tension between the United States and China. India is one of the fastest growing markets for cryptocurrency in the world with a large base of investors and younger people are the ones taking the charge. In 2014, the Supreme Court banned Jalikattu on the grounds of cruelty to animals. But later, owing to widespread protests, the Tamil Nadu government amended laws of animal cruelty and allowed the sport.